Welcome to my channel. My name is Attila and this is Mustard Piece. So I have already mentioned that I would like to enter for the wood turning competition without rain wood and uh, I think I have a pretty good idea to do that and uh, in this video I am going to make a piece unrelated to the competition and uh, while I am doing it, I am going to explain what's going on in my head and what is the piece that I would like to enter it. Let's go downstairs and let's get to it. Mustard piece. Okay, so here is the deal. This piece that I am going to do uh, in this video is not my best work. It's not even close to my best work, to be honest. But this piece gave me an idea that I am going to develop further and probably that's going to be the piece that I will be using to enter for the wood turning competition, Wizardry in Wood, if they accept this piece. So the idea is really cool, but there is a little bit of carving involved and I'm not sure they are going to accept it or not. Hopefully they will. So basically in this video I am going to work on this piece and while I am working I am going to talk and explain the full process that I have or the mentality rather that I am going to use to enter for this competition. So basically the sad truth is I don't really belong there. So I have started wood turning one and a half years ago and there will be people there who who has been doing wood turning for like 25 years probably. So there is no way I will be able to compete with them if I turn in a wooden ball because they just superior to me in every single way. Whatever I turn in, I don't think I will win, but what, so what, is, what is the point of uh, me entering for this competition? So basically the point would be, I just want to, I just want to be there. I want to be among like-minded people, I want to see the work and I want to show what I am capable of. But if you follow my channel, you know I'm not really into traditional wood turning. So you can be sure, you can be 100% sure what I am going to turn in is extreme. It might be too extreme, so they might not even accept this piece. Let's look at my mentality again. If you go for this competition, there will be hundreds of entries, probably. and. Uh, when you go through the competition, you will see all of these beautiful vases, uh, jewelry boxes, wooden balls. And let's be honest, I don't think I would be able to compete with that because limited amount of experience that I have. So I am basically going to compete with an idea. My idea would be when you approach my piece and see it for the first time, you will say, Oh my God, why I didn't think of that? And you look at it and say, that is so cool and you start to smile. I want emotion, not bad emotion and not provocative emotion, just, just, just a smile to the face. And if they accept this piece, it will generate smile. So if I didn't make it clear so far, I won't be able to tell you what I am making or show you the progress before I submitted the piece for the competition for obvious reasons but in this video in this piece that I am making there will be a point when the shape that I am making just just gives me that spark that idea that I am going to use enter for the competition. I will be able to tell you exactly when I realized this idea.
So basically, this is the point where I got the idea for the piece that I am going to enter with for the wizardry in wood, worshipful company of turners, wood turning competition. So if you can guess it from this picture, what I am making, then be my guest. Just write it into the comment section. I am not going to be able to confirm if you are right or wrong, but uh, I, I kind of have to be secretive about this because obviously I don't want anybody to enter with the same piece, especially not before I have submitted my own. The competition will be in October, so I still have pretty much more like four months. But the piece that I'm making is going to take several weeks, probably a month to finish. And uh, it's not impossible that I am going to enter for more than one categories and uh, therefore with more than one piece. But uh, we will see about that. I am still recording everything that I make and sooner or later you will see a video about the piece and also I am going to go there personally and I am going to document everything and I am going to vlog I don't normally vlog but I make a vlog of how to enter for the competition when I uh, transfer my piece to them and uh, also when I am there and hopefully for for the ceremony when, when the winner is getting the prize. I don't know if it's possible or not. Anyway, so let's leave it with that and let's just go back to the piece. So actually I know what some of you are thinking right now because I was the same. I was exactly the same. I would have said stop, don't cut it off because this box has to have a base. Because every box has a base. But the answer is no, it doesn't have to have a base. Do you want to make the same thing that everybody has? Or do you want to make something unique? I'm pretty sure it's not everybody's cup of tea, but it doesn't have to have a base.
Thank you for watching.